Hey, here's a video for all you pros out there. Uh, if you have a place, this is a new home, we gassed this house off um, uh, two weeks ago, but the owner left his um, the microwave. It's a curry home. So the owner left the microwave in place, all that oil just emanating, um, and the oil will be beside it and behind it. So uh, here's what we're doing today. <laughs> to help him out he has got plantation shutters carpet I mean just everything is an odor magnet in this place and they are this is the first home they've purchased so this is really exciting for Hena's family and there's enough stress in the world so this is easy to do y'all here's what you can do to make someone's life better number one um, you can see we're we're plugged in we've got a ULV Right, and this one's a very inexpensive. If you're just starting out in the business, uh, this is a good way to go. We picked up extra sprayers um, when you couldn't get any, and you know, in, in February and March, and uh, ordered a bunch, and they arrived on time. If you need to know uh, uh, some Chinese importers, um, some companies that we've worked with uh, to get a load of equipment um, when when things weren't available, we had ordered some uh, electrostatic sprayers from Emist in March, March 13th, and they uh, didn't come for five and a half months. So um, Dallas-based company, Dallas Source, Dallas everything. Uh, we're really proud to be American uh, made equipment and chemicals. Our chlorine dioxide powder or flake is from, our stabilized chlorine dioxide is from um, a U.S. manufacturer. He's got plants all over the world. Um, that one is in Texas. Uh, that makes the flake. Um, our, our chlorine dioxide that we use for tablets and and in kits that are um, for active chlorine dioxide from a U.S. lab. So uh, you know all of our stuff. Rigid. I'm sure that's not made in America, but that's what we use for all of our uh, setups. We've got rollers and uh, baskets and then we got the medium toolboxes um, and that's what we host all of our setups in anyways I just have these two pieces today we do really our best to support American companies um, just because we want our neighbors to work and if we can find a local source um, we have our germ shield we have a local manufacturer um, we want to put our neighbors to work we want to do our part um, and when Americans can't fulfill we got to go overseas and uh, we've had some great success so that said this is an inexpensive ULV fogger this one um, the hose is too short you know but give me a break when you're buying it what two or three hundred dollar uh, what was this probably 350 bucks landed maybe four hundred dollars landed um, no problem no problem so uh, that would be my preference however and I also prefer a backpack uh, just you know because I don't want to carry it around but here's what we did um, first of all I came and the homeowner um, said yeah I got the microwave down well he had it right here in the floor so I said this has got to get out of the house so I actually picked it up with him I don't usually do all this kind of cleaning and, and, and customer service stuff I usually come in at night and nobody's around like now and then I do my job and then uh, and then get out however um, it's just a nice guy and, and I, I'm really excited for he and his family so um, he had gotten the microwave down of course I don't want to touch anything that you know because I don't want to be responsible for it uh, however he um, he left the bracket up because you know what do you do with that right well a new bracket comes on the back microwaves are cheap and if it's a curry house you got to get rid of the microwave every time um, so Cleaned, cleaned, cleaned again, right? So, and then here is their vent. And you can see these dark uh, oil spots, right? So we, we actually used um, palm olive to cut the oil. So we uh, cleaned everything with stabilized chlorine dioxide and then palm olive for those real heavy grease. Uh, and then I stuffed in plastic on the outside of that vent. The fan, I don't know if you can see it, the, the, the vent is about, uh, you know, it's just, it's just out of view of the, of the shot. So the vent, you know, starts at, the, at just above the top of that hole. So soak that in real good. Um, you know, there's only so much you want to do with exposed sheetrock. You don't want to get it wet, wet, wet. But you can see. Um, so I had a hand spray bottle and then I just used a ULV. You can still the walls are glistening. And so um, sprayed above the cabinets, above that huge shelf. Um, and that is a big odor magnet. Also the ceiling in here, you can see it's way up. Uh, also part of the reason you're using the ULV is it's just got such a great range. And with a 40 micron tip on it, um, it, 
it, it will get you know to the ceiling you can see these ceilings are just massive i mean how beautiful is that right so um instead of the only place he smelled curry was by the front door when he'd come in well right carpet uh shutters and mini blinds i mean it's just odor 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 and a total pass through right there from the kitchen stove so ceiling plantation shutters carpet all leads to him smelling it so loaded up a stabilized chlorine dioxide um and instead of just treating in here, which would be plenty, I went ahead and did the entire house just because I can. A lot of times we do things, pros, um, to save time or money. But you know what? This is, um, the, he is one of my neighbors. He's, you know, really close by. He's only a couple miles away from me. And, um, and when you can do an incredible job for just another hour or two, um, instead of just a, you know, you can do a great job because you always do, or you can do a, just a knockout, just rad job, a blow your mind job. He doesn't know this is a blow your mind job, but um, but we've really done an amazing thing in here. Uh, it's also helpful for me because I know that now um, I can breathe. I have my respirator, but right now I can breathe because everything has, has been killed. So went upstairs, and we hit the um, you know AC vent real hard uh, with stabilized chlorine dioxide. Each of those bedrooms, the bathrooms, and then came in and we did um, you know the, the the bedroom, bathroom, and the closets down there in the laundry room, and then this area. Do everything. However, if it's wet, you don't want to gas it off because you could bleach stuff out. Um, we use stuff that, as you know, is well beyond the concentration of uh, standard home use, right? So home use, stabilized chlorine dioxide, they, they recommend four to 800 parts per million. And, uh, and I typically mix it up at 3,000 parts per million, not 400 parts per million. My kiddos, you know, a pair of five-year-olds and, and then a, a couple more kids after that um, that are, you know, they're young. My kids are young. And we use 800 parts per million in our house. Uh, so, and they wipe the kitchen table and all that. So I'm not worried about that. However, if you get the, you know, if you're, if you're doing 6,000 parts per million, uh, you, you, you likely will get bleaching. So um, you don't want that. If you're shooting inside like that, um, that microwave vent fan, who cares? You can bleach the heck out of that, it doesn't matter. But the rest of the house really does. And as you can see, they've made it beautiful in here, doing their best. So um, the gray paint and the white, you know, you wanna keep that nice, the carpet nice. So we will not affect anything in here uh, with our gas off treatment, because we are gonna go now, because I live close by, uh, I'm gonna leave. I'll get my, my stuff ready for gas off. I think, I mean, I don't smell a thing. I think we're done. Um, but uh, for this customer, the win was having me gas it off again. So it just means a couple extra trips for me. If he was an hour away, um, I would just do this and call it done because this is fine. And I am in here, it doesn't smell at all um, like chlorine dioxide. But I wanna show you what we did. Um, if you're a pro that's not used a ULV, uh, well, you've used ULV. Here's what I do, and if you're just uh, interested because you're learning, then great. Stick with me, I'm gonna mask up because safety is always number one, right? So we're gonna mask, here, let me go get my goggles um, just to make sure you see proper, proper use. Goggles on, hand, <laughs> not on yet. So I'm gonna mask up, you can see and hear this ULV sprayer here. Can you go right here? Nope, that fridge is not magnetic. Is that handle magnetic? No. All right. Hey, hold on just a second. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set you right here. You okay? You okay? So, we're non-toxic. But it doesn't mean you want to breathe everything in, right? There's other things that are non-toxic that you don't want to stick in your mouth. Just look at any kid. Don't put it in your mouth. Don't put it in your mouth what a kid puts in his mouth. Non-toxic, sure. Don't breathe it. Okay? Good seal. You know it's a good seal if you can't feel any cold air coming in.
Yeah, and that's just demonstration to kind of show you what we do. This is um, very much a consumer grade. Uh, you know, I mean, this is not a pro grade sprayer, but um, you know, how many miles do you need to get out of it? It's no big deal. Uh, I like it. I, I like it because the tank is big and it just shoots so far. This has got a just a really long reach and I've never had to do windows afterwards. So um, the tip doesn't look, I mean, this, I would not have, if I walked by this on the store, I would not have bought this. Not a chance. But it was the one that was available and another pro um, had said that he got his, you know, in, in 12 days or something like that. So I went ahead and ordered it and, uh, and they came. So I'm delighted. Remember, every time you use your equipment, rinse it, put water in it and, and run it for a couple minutes. Um, and then, uh, and finally let all this dry out. We got to let this dry, dry, dry so that we don't bleach out any carpet. Um, I've never had any bleaching issues, uh, but I'm also very, very my glasses, the reflection is crazy. Um, but I'm also really concerned that we don't, um, you know, cause my insurer to wonder if we're doing a good job uh, or not. So my insurance company is never going to have to pay out, ever. So. Hey, pros, thanks for what you do. You make the world a better place when there's a house deal that's too good to be true. If you're not a pro right now and you're watching, you're like, man, I want to move across the country and this house looks amazing. I'm going to get that house. It's been on Zillow for so long and it's so cheap and I don't know why. It's a great deal. Well, cheap houses are cheap for a reason. This was not a cheap house. But his realtor failed to disclose that uh, a curry home is a really big deal. Um, and we treat it the same as cigarette odors. So this UOV is not a normal thing for us to use on every job um, like this, you know, every odor job. But, um, but there's so much surface area, so many odor magnets in here, and he just doesn't have time or money um, to spend on new carpet and all that. So let's just do a great job, take care of our neighbors, take care of one another, and make the world a better place, one disinfect or uh, one stinky house at a time.